Okay. So, as you guys can see, I got the vehicle jacked up. It's off the ground. I'm about to pop the wheels off. And I will show you guys what I am going to do. Okay, so this is going to be a very, very long video. So, what we've got here, I will show you. Um, <clears throat> this is the lower control arm. This is the CV joint boot. Um, this is the sway bar link right here. This is the outer tie rod. This is the inner tie rod. And this right here is the upper control arm. Okay, so I'm going straight for it, man. I ain't fucking around. So I got this bolt lubed here. And uh, you can see it. That bolt right there lubed. That's the upper control arm. I'm going to go from top to bottom. So uh, those two bolts go to that side and that side right there. And I lubed up this bolt. I'm going to take the cotter pin out, undo that bolt, replace the upper control arm, and it's dirty. Well, this is where all the dirt gathers, but anyways. And then this right here is the outer control arm right here. I got to replace that. And then you can see the boot right here. And then right there is the inner control arm. I'm going to do that. And then right here is the lower control arm. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I think I called this the inner control arm. I, I apologize. This is the inner tie rod and outer tie rod. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so right here is the lower control arm right here. And then right here is the... Uh, what is this called? Um, this is the um, this is the sway bar. This, so uh, this is the sway bar link right here. Um, this thing. Uh, so the whole process that I have to do today is outer control arm, inner control arm, control arm boot, lower control arm upper control arm and sway bar link so I'm doing pretty much the exact same posts to my YouTube channel that I'm doing to my uh, Facebook so I'm gonna put this camcorder down pick up my phone and do the same thing so it's gonna be a very long day um, not including all the labor I'm doing so if any of you guys want to come on down and help, feel free. Alright, so I got the two upper bolts loosened. I'm not going to take them completely out until I pop this ball joint off here. Or pop this control arm off of this... Um, fuck, what you call this? Uh, I guess you would call it the fork. Yeah, call it the fork. So, um... As you can see, I've got the uh, ball joint popper right on here. I'm going to tighten this bolt down here until this bad boy pops off of there. And then uh, we're going to replace that and then go down and start doing the rest. So I already uh, popped the upper control arm off. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys that process, but I'm trying to uh, keep my wits about me here. Um, I've already taken out the upper two bolts, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up. Oh shit! I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta take these bolts off here, or take off just this one bolt here, so that I can pull the whole thing off. Because there's a uh, a link back there that's holding it all in there. So um, I'll show you when I get it out. So as you can see, I got the rear bracket for the control arm in there. I just gotta, I just gotta take those two bolts off, put it in these two holes here for it. And it's a good thing I checked before I connected this because they say left and right on them. So I'm definitely connecting this to the right side, or well, left if, if you will. So as you can see, I got the uh, upper control arm done. Fucking Bixby's trying to talk to me right now. 
anyways um i got that done next process is the uh outer control arm right here and then the uh inner control arm there you need uh if you're going to do this you need a special tool because there's a um, it's like a special sort of socket that you need to pop it off for the uh inner tie rod so um, i have that tool because i've done this before so uh i'm gonna go ahead and um take care of business so i'm doing the outer tie rod now and i have to be extremely careful when I do this to make sure I do it the exact same way I take it off because if you screw this in too much or too little it'll set your alignment off and it's it's going to be set off anyways so I'm going to have to get it realigned but um, what you have to do is you have to loosen this bolt so that you can unscrew this outer tie rod and then I'm going to count exactly how many turns it takes to get it off and then do the exact same when I put it back on. So this is the old and the new inner and outer tie rod. What I'm trying to do here is line <clears throat> this screw up exactly with that screw so that when I connect it there's very little difference in the new one and the old one. So I've got these lined up pretty damn well. I gotta move this screw over here just a little bit. But they look pretty damn close. I gotta say, this one's just a little bit. There we go. That looks perfectly aligned up both of them. So as you guys can see, I've got the new outer tie rod, the inner tie rod. I just kept the old boot because it was fine. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no, no holes in it or anything. Um, there's the new sway bar link. And there's the new uh, upper control arm. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Uh, stay tuned for the next video.